I wanted to share this problem with you because I think it's really interesting. So here's the problem. There is in blue a function x to the fourth plus 3x cubed. And then there is some line, this orange line, that touches its tangent at two different points. And the question is, find that orange line. I'm going to give some hints on two different approaches to this problem. But before I do that, let me just give you a chance to stop or quit or favorite the video and stop here so you can try it on your own because it's a fun problem to do. Okay, so here's some hint on how to approach the problem. Let's call the graph in blue F and the line G. Then F minus G is still a quartic polynomial, but this quartic polynomial now is gonna have a zero here and a zero there. But in fact, because the yellow line or the orange line was tangent, that has to be a double zero, and that has to be a double zero as well. So this new quartic polynomial has to be a square of a quadratic. Now, that quadratic, if you give it coefficients to that quadratic and you give coefficients to that line, you should be able to set up the quadratic equals a square is the f minus g. And that, you can play with the coefficients and find the coefficients for the line and the coefficients for the quadratic uh, that I mentioned. Now the second option is to use calculus because the orange line is the tangent line at say x equals a and what I'm looking for is a point a where that tangent line is tangent at some other point. And to be tangent at that other point, well the intersection of the two has to have two different places where there is a double point, uh, a double zero. And you can actually, what you can do is find the fourth degree Taylor approximation of that polynomial, which is itself, but centered around x equals a, and then find uh, the difference between that fourth degree Taylor polynomial and the tangent line. And that's going to give you the terms in the Taylor expansion that correspond to x minus a squared, x minus a cubed, and x minus a to the fourth, which of course has a factor of x minus a squared that corresponds to that double root, and if you factor that out, you get a quadratic polynomial in X and A, and you're looking for the point A such that that quadratic has a double root. And you can do that, but it's in fact more difficult than my first method because that point here has irrational coefficients. Even though the tangent line is actually rational, has rational coefficients, the points themselves where they intersect the graph has irrational x-coordinates. So um, that's a little bit tricky, but in any case, try both approaches and see if you're able to find the tangent line.